At least 10 years. Yeah, at least 10 years. You know, when I first <laughs> came here, and we went for a tour of this place, you know, and, uh, and I said, uh, you know, in the analysis, they should bring the water from the, the lake, or the bay, you know, into uh, this area in here. And they should make a connection to the uh, to the Parliament House, uh, and it's happening now. So it's really absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it would happen. You know, but at that time, you know, like it was just a wasteland, wasn't it? Yeah. And I thought, wow, the potential is there, you know, from a future point of view. And now it's happened. You know. So all this area is really, really the, you know, the pivotal part. We, in, in Feng Shui we call it Shu, a Feng Shui spot. Uh, this is where the, the power spot, right? Uh, the most powerful qi uh, is, in, is located. You can see in here, it had all the, all the ingredients. It had transportation, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, with the railways you have the your government house. Well, you, now you're going to have it. Have your library, and before that they build in music, right? and you have the museum, right? and all the arts and gardening stuff, all in in this area. And the good thing is that you run right next to the lake, and if you bring the water into it, right, then from a function point of view, it really makes uh, uh, Helsinki or, or Finland, because Helsinki is the capital of Finland, will be very prosperous. You know. The site they selected is it's, it's very very good because it it has a, a relationship to the Parliament House, right? Uh, and it also has a relationship with the with the uh, with the uh, museum and the newspaper building and the, the music hall right? and the lake. Uh, so the location is absolutely fantastic. Right now. Um, the way the architect designed this building, right, in the Fuji terms, is called the Soul Science, which means receiving mountain, is kind of design. What happened is that the Na Qi, uh, the receive Qi, sucked into the building at the front entrance quite strongly. Uh, like this, you know. Okay? It's, you know, it's either you can do this, bring the Qi, or you can do that. Choose up. This is called choose up. Goes up, or you can suck it in. No. But if you look at the urban side plan, right, uh, with the scenic model, you can see it very clearly. You have the black turtle, you have the sea dragon, the white tiger, and the bird. You know, very clearly located. Right? And then you got the. This here would be the uh, uh, would be the table mountain. Okay, so the scenic model is there. Okay, and this is building is very clever. The way I keep keeping this building is very clever. Idea. So now you can see the the, the, the four animal models very clearly. Uh, uh, the red bird, the black turtle, the shield dragon, the white tiger, and you're looking at the table mountain of the Parliament's house, looking towards that. Okay, now, uh, so my sense or not? Yeah. Uh, it's a very yeah. nice uh, composition. You know, very dynamic. Uh, not equal, but uh, all the animals are there, all the elements are there to create this, uh, uh, this, you know, the energy sucking in and there like that, you know, from it. And, and you have a visual corridor to the Parliament House, and this, it, it, which is a table mountain. Uh, 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 it's very clever because what you have is, uh, is culture, right, uh, connected to politics. Normally, it's like fire and water, Chinese said, when they, in the right combination, the people say fire and water, they fire each other. The fire and water, when they are in the right combination, can be very constructive. And you have a very special connection between culture, learning, education, uh, uh, with uh, politics. Which means that the, the culture uh, uh, part of it can temper the hard part of politics. Uh, and it's work in, which means that the yin and yang can be balanced. Okay, the other thing is that the auspicious water, the well chi, is brought in to the main town from Tulunati. In the planning, they show they come all the way to here, actually, yeah. to this building, a little bit of water in the here. Uh, 
the other thing that's fantastic they're going to do it is that the, the green belt. You know, they do the green belt. It's absolutely beautiful. They have planted gardens in here, you know, next to the water. It'd be really, really fantastic, you know. When people can use the green belt, yes. uh, so they also bring in the wealth from, from, the, from the bay yes. towards the mm, city. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it means, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. so it's very auspicious. Very, very auspicious. But if they carry out this kind of stuff, what they show in the architect's drawing, it'd be absolutely good from sure. You have any political protests in the future, Honestly, it will be. Democracy, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a perfect place for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the balcony of the library, they have even written Speaker's Corner, so <laughs> facing the parliament. <laughs> so we all can go there. And the way they organize the inside is really very, very nice, you know, the way they, they organize it, you know. What happened is that they, uh, they, they put the leaf right slightly on either side of it. So the, the cheese actually is spreading on both directions. Like that. And they put doors right on either side of it. So you actually got three Nazi mouths right, that generates a movement right, inside. It's really a very nice way of, uh, of uh, handling the interior. Okay. So it's definitely a, a water element of the way that you can handle it. The Nazi is is a reinforced uh, done on the horizontal, but it was also done on the on the vertical. It's really nice how the space curving in then goes up, you know. Um, so it's really the way they squeeze the energy. Okay, it's it's really like water; it flows. So, uh, so when you look at the uh, uh, using the five element, five phase relation, you also you think you see it very clearly. It's got a certain harmony. Uh, uh, this building is actually planned on a wood shape and the wood. I'm uh, sorry, wood shape and water circulation, but it's actually made of wood, which is really quite surprising. This is one of the one of these very complicated wood buildings are using wood, structured wood, structured buildings. Uh, so the element or the phase for that is definitely water and wood, and water and wood take general each other. Uh, and wood is for growth. Okay, now, what happens is on the other side of it, you've got metal and earth. Uh, metal and earth. Very shiny glass surface, you know, metallic roof long, but it's square vision in the same part. Thank you. Uh, so now you've got this really idea where earth journalists, metal, metal journey, water, water journey, wood for learning and for growth. No fire, very little. But there is a little bit of fire here. Mm. It's a fish. Uh, oh, it's a fish. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's a fish. But it's been. So how? Yeah. Yeah. So fire and water. Fire and water. Right? Fire and water mutually support each other. Very clever. Mm -hmm. you know. uh, this is really has a, from my point of view as a feng shui uh, consultant and as an architect, I've got very good feng shui. Uh, very good feng shui. They actually, uh, you know, energize, uh, multiply uh, the prosperity of Finland for sure. How was it? Right, now, uh, this is the architect way of seeing the, the site analysis. And you, I, I, I use this because the way he analyzed this site is very different to how I would analyze the site as a functional consultant, but interesting enough, we come to the same conclusion about it. And uh, I, I think those decision makers, either from the city or something, they also resonate they they have uh, uh, in the competition. They have really the us things we have chosen this uh, this yeah. plan. Yeah. So uh, I think it, it really the space also grows from yeah. us things. Yeah. So all of us, it, me including, <laughs> is part of uh, of uh, yeah, but I, building I all this. This is really a hotspot that has been designed or planned or, or thought of for decades. 
Albert Aalto, who uh, planned this uh, Finlandia Hall, mm. so he made huge plans for this, and, and several other architects, they have tried and tried, and so it's a, it's really, uh, um, you know, it's just a combination me, of many it's general. like sitting here massaging the whole group, you know, like this, massaging the model, and slowly, slowly, you know, the headache goes away, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's called the value of harmony. You know, you guys are doing this. Yeah, this is great. This arrow. Uh, so what you have to do is, say, like, where does this arrow point to? Okay. So now, then you look at uh, this map in here. Uh, this arrow actually points to the newspaper. <laughs> Very good thing. Fake news. Stop. Okay. <laughs> but you know that's this is where the uh, where the, the culture um, using art, a library, information, data, knowledge, and wisdom uh, can sometimes temper the way that we are dictated by uh, the, the way news is get to us. We play false news, false opinions, but right? no. Uh, you need some kind of balance. Yeah. So this uh, charging uh, is actually a positive thing to me. It's not something you can. Keep an eye on me. Yeah. And you keep an eye on through knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. That's what a life is for. Mm. It's a, it's a very successful building in a sense that uh, it's not imposing, it's gently standing there providing uh, a backdrop, providing a stage in which the drama of the Finnish nation can take place. That's how I would describe it. This would be like a, like a stage in which uh, all the political, historical, revolutionary dramas that will ever take place in your country <laughs> probably take place in here. And you will remember for many, many years to come. And if they can actually make a connection with the water in this direction, with the, with the green bell, with the water taking into here, it would be absolutely fantastic. That means that the, this space in here will be charged up with some chill water. There is also a dialogue between uh, the Finland Hall exactly. and the library. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, the yeah. Same. yeah. So now it's you have all visible. the mm -hmm. you have all the cultural icons, you know, all coming together in one place, and that would make this place really, really powerful. Uh -huh. And the Olympic Stadium uh, is the one that has this yeah. high tower. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that was also yeah. a very big yeah. symbol for yeah. the Finns in yeah. in. Uh, in Where's the opera? Uh, is it visible? Uh, no, no, it's not. Now this is also a very strange sculpture over there. It's nothing like what I thought in the photo. Yeah. The sculpture is rather quite... Uh, it's like a phallus. Yeah. <laughs> when you look at all these things, and when you talk like that, it means the architecture here and the, and the environment here is alive. Otherwise you wouldn't talk like that because you actually fire your imagination. You know, and that's what makes a good building and good urban space. It gives you a lot of things to talk about, to think about, you can joke about, you make up stories about it, you know, and that would be fantastic. That's the good part of it. You know. Okay. And actually what I'm trying to explain to you about how making the yin and opposite come together and make them come alive. And this is really actually what this building uh, in this location is actually doing. You know, it's actually made this whole area come alive when you make the yin and yang come together and make it come alive, then a spirit will come through and you can feel the spirit even here now. You know, I can just imagine... It's vibrant. When, yeah, well, just imagine when this finish in here, with the water coming, with the trees over there, you know, sun shining, mm. you know, everybody will be well, You have to visit when it's ready. <laughs> it's come only because you were here. But if you look at it, there is actually quite a bit of barrier, mm -hmm. you know, uh, between this place and the mm -hmm. parliament There should house. be a, a bridge. They are higher up. Yeah, uh, there sh should be a bridge. So, so this, it's, it's now the feeling is that politics looking at you. Mm -hmm. That's the feeling, rather yeah. than politics is part of you, mm -hmm. you know.
uh, this is something you know uh, interesting for me. You know? uh -huh. It's like um, uh, in uh, old towns where there were walls around the city <laughs> and there were these moats. It's like a uh, like a moat. Yes. The, the, yeah. The exactly. barrier. It's like yeah. a moat. Protecting it. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, it's yeah. more for so, protection, not for yeah, for connecting. Yeah, yeah. So you know my. You know, my, my idea was that you can have something that actually go underneath the, the row and you come up. Yeah. You know, like there's, a, there's a big open... Imagine this row is actually built on columns, you yeah. know. Then, then the, the parliament house yeah. is just underneath mm. that and you go straight up, you know. Yeah. That would be completely different, you know. Mm. Uh -huh. So now the parliament belongs to the people mm -hmm. rather than the parliament is something overlooking mm. the people. That's a huge difference, but I don't think politicians have the chance to. So. So, so we are looking at them in their castle over there. Okay, now this is some of the things that, that actually uh, architecture and feng shui brings it up because mm -hmm. by all these images mm -hmm. that we're looking at, it brings out a lot of feelings, mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of concepts, lots of ideas in your head. Right? And that's actually a good thing because it fires your thinking, fires your imagination, and it connected to how you feel about things, how do you feel about society, how do you feel about the government, how do you feel about the school, the library, and all these things. So, so it becomes a talking point, you know. And that that's something what this kind of space is about, you know? this public space. You know? It's for public participation. It's for public expression, you know. And when you when you got this kind of freedom to do it, right? Democracy will survive, you know. And I see many squares in the world, right? I see, uh, I see the Tiananmen Square in, in Beijing. Mm -hmm. uh, I see the Red Square in Russia. Mm -hmm. I see the uh, uh, Washington Square, mm -hmm. you know, in Washington, you know, where the uh, the White House is right now. This is a square. This is a public space that has a human scale. Mm -hmm. You know, the, there's nothing like 90 degree like this. You know, it's kind of free, right? Things are regular, but they're not dead. Mm -hmm. You know, like here, here is the uh, <laughs> the Asuri Dragon. But the Asuri Dragon is nothing dead. You know, it's got a bit of here, a bit of there, you know. And here's the white tiger. The white tiger is making a contrast. The white tiger has got all these things down there. But they're still forming the ceiling model, but they're not dead. They're not dead ceiling models. If you look at Tiananmen Square, Rows of, rows of building on here, mm. right? And the ten is square like that, boom, straight line down. Here it's not like that. Now, mm. That is the unique characteristic of, uh, of Finnish people, I think. You guys are formal, but you, you guys are not that. You know, within the formalness, no, no, with the formalness, there's some quirkiness about you, and that's what makes you a Finnish. This is who you are, you know, be proud of it. Be proud of it, you know, and you can actually see how he expresses in your architecture in the future. And I found it really, really pleasing because it's like a, uh, like a, a, a sunlight shining on a bit of dark, you know, on a bit of the darkness. There's still life, there's still quirkiness, there's still individualism in this world, you know, and that's really wonderful. Yeah. Keep it that way, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't yes. die on us. Yeah. Keep it alive. Yeah. You know, and that's what I can say. <laughs> Honestly, you know, I can kind of say this is a beautiful space. This really works. This space really works. That's good feng shui. Yeah, it's all the characteristic. It's formal but informal. Huh? In the same time. Yeah. <laughs>